Hello everybody, welcome to Kentucky Speedway for round four of the Dynaco Cup Series Season 2. Let's name some important drivers in this race. Tyler Reddick starts on the pole, last week's winner. So, yeah, he's also now the points leader, because he has the highest average finish of everybody else. And starting in second, Michael McDowell... Almost the highest spot that 34 car has gotten. Spencer Gallagher put that thing on the pole in a different race last season. And excuse me, I have to let my cat in. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's keep going with the important drivers. This is the first race at Kentucky, so nobody has won at this track yet in the Dynaco Cup Series. And now my cat already wants to get out of the way. Okay, anyway... Let's start off with some drivers who could get the win here. Kyle Larson, he's had he's had very close calls this season. Like, at Atlanta, he finished second. And he has a really fast car. Unfortunately, the car couldn't get qualified very much since the qualifying order is in a random draw. So here are the four DNQs for this race. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. DNQs. Johnny Sauter will DNQ for his second, for the second time in his second attempt. Martin Truex Jr. in Landon Castle also DNQ. So, without further ado, let's get this race underway in Kentucky, the Quaker State 400. And here we go, Tyler Reddick starting on the pole in the new Bass Pro Shops car. First time that's been on track. Then we have the 34 of Michael McDowell. The 22 of Joey Logano. And the 35 of Joey Miles. Green flag. Caution flag out on the racetrack for the first time today. The 34 of Michael McDowell did not make it past the line. And now... We're going to try that one again. And he didn't make it past again. Sometimes I wonder if that spot has something to do with it. So I might have to clean off that spot after this race. So anyway, this is the final attempt. Could also be because of, be because of that groove there. And it looks like Reddick and McDowell are going to make it in to the next round. Logano and Joey Miles are out. Very bad day for Joey Logano. Anyway, the next round is Eric Almarola in the 10. Eric Jones in the 20. Ty Dillon in the 97. And his brother Austin Dillon driving the 3. Green flag. And caution is out again. Is it going to be one of these races? Where they just keep getting stuck like at least one driver in every race? Okay, here we go. Green flag. And that time nobody got stuck and two drivers actually made it all the way to the other cardboard side. So it looks like Almarola and Jones are going to move on. And the Dillon brothers are out. Next, we have the 40 of Rory Miles with a good qualifying position. The 24 of William Byron. Try not to get stuck on that groove. 72 of A.J. Allmendinger with Dollar General on the car for the first time this year. 
and Sebastian Gilio with Coke Zero Sugar. Three seconds. And caution again. So let's restart that. We've already had like five cautions today. And there's another one. So anyway, Almendinger and Byron will go back in their spots and then we'll start this again. Oh, and it looks like William Byron and Rory Miles are going to make it in the camera. Shifted. It's not surprising since it's on a tilt. So Almendinger and Jillio are done. Next we have the 73 of Danny Swords making his appearance back to the racetrack after Dan Hewing last week. Then we have the 0 of Dylan Lupton making his second start of the season. The 55 of Henry Miles is right after him. And then the 14 of Clint Boyer. And that time, nobody did it. So, it looks like Boyer and Swords are going to make it. The other two are out. Henry Miles landing perfectly on his side. That's kind of impressive. I've never seen anybody do that before. Actually, I might have. Anyway, we have Matt DiVendetto in the 21. The 60 of Chase Grisco is after him. The 9 of Chase Elliott with Mountain Dew on the car this weekend. That's the first time that's happening. And then the 4 of Kevin Harvick. Three and caution is out. Everybody flipped over. Probably because they made it to that gap over there. So anyway, there's Elliott, Harvick, DiBenedetto, and Briscoe. Three and there we go. It looks like Elliot and Harvick are going to make it to the next round. Briscoe and Benedetto are done. Next, we have the 1 of Kurt Busch, the 12 of Ryan Blaney, the 41 of Cole Custer, and the 95 of Lightning McQueen. Green card. And it looks like Bush and Blaney are going to make it to the next round. McQueen and Custer are out. Next we have the 42 of Kyle Larson. The 88 of Alex Bowman. The 5 of Justin Allgaier. And the 74 of Reed Sorensen. And caution is out. Too many cars flipped over because the 74 and the 5 hit each other at the same time. Hit each other's uh, launch pads. So anyway, green flag. And of course the 5 gets stopped. So here we go. Back to the green flag. Also, Hellman's is on the car for the 88 this weekend. Green flag. Oh, and it looks like the 88 didn't make it. It's going to be the 5 and the 42. Advance it. Sorensen almost kept it on its wheels, but didn't quite. And that's going to knock him out. Bowman just sort of overdrove the corner. Next, we have the 2 of Brad Keselowski, the Daytona winner. The 18 of Kyle Busch with sport clips on the car. The 95 of Christopher Bell. And the 17 of Chris Busher with 5th, 3rd bank on the car. Keselowski and Busher will advance. Because Kyle Busch also made it there but couldn't stay on his wheels. So he and Christopher Bell will be done for the day. Then we have the 11 of Denny Hamlin. The 39 of Buck Baringley. 16 of Ryan Reed and the 99 of Ross Chastain getting Florida Watermelon into the race for the first time ever in the Dynaco Cup Series. 
Oh, Chastain almost kept it on the wheels, but he couldn't quite. So Ryan Reed and Denny Hamlin will be advancing. And Chastain and Baringley will be done. Next, we have the 48 of Jimmy Johnson. Quick time check on the thing. 15 of Quinn Health making his first start in the Dynaco Cup Series. The 6 of Ryan Newman. And the 86 of Chick Hicks. Chick Hicks is supposed to be in row 3, but I know he'll get stuck, so we're putting him in row 4. Green Johnson and Newman make it into the next round. Also, Ally Bank is on the car for the second week in a row. Ally Bank made their first appearance in the Dynaco Cup Series last week. Next, we have the 25 of Owen Miles bringing the Avengers Endgame car back into the field because he just couldn't not have it. 98 of Spencer Gallagher and the driver that will be rounding out the field for this race at Kentucky, Bubba Wallace. And it looks like the 98 and the 43 make it into the next round. Which means Owen Miles is out of the race. Very unfortunate. But that means it's time to get our second round picks done. So here is our first race, the 48 of Jimmy Johnson, the 10 of Eric Almarola, the 20 of Eric Jones, and the 98 of Spencer Gallagher. Wait. And caution. So, let's get this going again. And Johnson and Jones are going to keep going. Eric Jones is another guy that's been getting really good finishes this year, and he's still going. Which means Almarola and Gallagher are out. So here is our next race. The 42 of Kyle Larson, the 24 of William Byron. The 90 of Rory Miles and the 34 of Michael McDowell. Caution flag is out once again. I think it's that spot because I've never seen Byron's car get stuck before. We're not putting this race under red flag. Here we go. And caution again. All four of them flipped. So here we go for the final time. In the air. And it looks like Kyle Larson and William Byron are going to make it into the next round. The other two of McDowell and Rory Miles are done. William Byron, uh, he started the season off really bad. Started last in the Daytona 500. But then it's been getting really good finishes. Except for that time he crashed out of the race at Atlanta. But that's basically it. Next we have the 11 of Denny Hamlin. The 5 of Justin Allgaier. The 17 of Chris Buescher. And the 14 of Clint Boyer. And it looks like the 14 and the 11 are going to make it into the next round. The 5 and the 17 are done. In the next round, we have Ryan Newman in the six, the two of Brad Keselowski, the one of Kurt Busch, and the nine of Chase Elliott. Three. And it looks like Keselowski and Busch are going to make it into the next round. Well, Newman and Elliott will be done.
here we go. The last round of four in this. The 12 of Ryan Blaney. The 16 of Ryan Reed. The 73 of Danny Swords. And the 43 of Bubba Wallace. Green flag. The caution flag is out. As we probably could have predicted, because there's been a mouthload of cautions in this race already. Here we go. Green flag. It looks like Blaney and Swords are going to make it. Bubba Wallace and Ryan Reed are out, and the camera did the thing again. Let's close on it a little bit. There we go. Here we go. Now we have the two drivers that are fighting for the last spot in the final round. The four of Kevin Harvick and the eight of Tyler Reddick, the pole sitter. Green flag. Oh, they raced it all the way to the end, but Kevin Harvick beat out Reddick by just a tiny little bit. So he will be moving on. So anyway, here are here is the last round. In this race, we have the 73 of Danny Swords, the 42 of Kyle Larson, the 48 of Jimmy Johnson, and the 12 of Ryan Blaney. Blaney and Johnson will advance to the next round. There goes most of the people's picks for this race. Kyle Larson, Blaney, and Johnson will both be eligible to possibly win the first ever Dynaco Cup Series race at Kentucky. So next we have the 20 of Eric Jones, the 16 of Ryan Reed, the 2 of Brad Keselowski, and the 24 of William Byron. And it looks like the 2... Oh wait, everybody else flipped over, so we're going to get another caution. Jeez, this thing could go over 20 minutes. So anyway, let's get this going. And caution again. Keselowski just tried to keep it on his wheels, but eventually it fell over. So here we go. The last race in this round. And everyone flipped over. In fact, William Byron went into the Hot Wheels box I use as a track. So, I'm just going to say that William Byron and the 20 of Eric Jones make it because they didn't want to not all flip over. So, that means Keselowski and Reed are done. So, here we go with that. Wait a minute. I don't think Bubba Wallace made the next round. Never mind, I'll accept it. So, that means that Clint Boyer is going to be eligible to race in the Final Four by default because of some sort of scoring issue. So, here we go. Green flag. And Bubba Wall has decided not to go. So, caution again. This has been one of the weirdest races I've seen in the Dynaco Cup Series. Because some of these drivers just... ...out of control... And that's going to put Kurt Busch and Bubba Wallace to try to fight for a Final Four spot. Okay, so here are four drivers fighting for it. You have the 12, the 20, the 24, and the 43. Got some historical numbers in there. And it looks like the 20 and the 12 are gonna advance to the final four. Bubba Wallace and William Byron are done. So much for the historical numbers. So anyway, here are three drivers fighting for it. Two will make it into the final four. One will not. So anyway, it's Kurt Busch, 
Clint Boyer and Jimmy Johnson. And it looks like Johnson and Bush will make it into the final four. Which means Clint Boyer is done and he will finish fifth. So here we go, the final four. We have the one, the 12 of Ryan Blaney, the 1 of Kurt Busch, the 20 of Eric Jones, and the 48 of Jimmy Johnson. Chevy trying to get their third win in a row. Then we have one Ford and one Toyota. Johnson and Eric Jones are going to finish 1-2. So then we have the 1 and the 12. Eric Jones trying to get the first win for Toyota this season. And I believe his first in the Dynaco Cup Series. He will be next to Jimmy Johnson. Green and the caution's out. Okay, caution in the final round. Have you ever? Green oh, and Johnson fell down and flipped over. That means Eric Jones is going to be the first ever Kentucky winner in the Dynaco Cup Series. Congratulations to Eric Jones. You are now in the chase. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.